y'all. Welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. This is the day that I have been waiting for for a little while. Y'all know that, follow this channel, know that we have greatly struggled with internet for the last six months. We had AT&T internet, and it was really good for a while. And then they just keep letting people on it, and keep letting people on it, and adding new subscriptions till it is so bogged down that the last couple of videos that I have uploaded with it has took like two days. I can't handle that. Been not able to do live streams, so we ordered Starlink. Um, it became available in our area here uh, six months ago or so. Uh, it's, it was available for a little while, and then they took it off. It was kind of a trap. My brother got it a year ago, and they kind of took it off where you couldn't get it to see how it worked, and then here recently they put it back available in this area. So I saved up, and it cost about $600, right at $700 just for the equipment. I have not yet paid for the subscription. The subscription to it is going to run me around $120 a month here. But what I am currently paying for is a package deal that has the internet and the satellite that we really don't watch the satellite here, and I'm paying like $250 for that setup, so we're fixing to cut all that mess off. We can buy the Weather Channel out and be get what we need uh, as far as weather is about all that we watch on the satellite so it's not a big loss to us so we're going starlink this is supposedly greatly better than anything else in rural areas some of you people that are in towns around closer to cities that have good internet that comes through like the power companies we don't have that where I live. It's in the area and other places, but a lot of people are struggling with it. And my brother, he works at a bank and he is over the computer programming system there and basically runs it from home out here in this rural area. And he said it is way better. Everybody I have talked to greatly recommend Starlink. So here we go. So in this video, I wanted to unbox it, show you what you get. And then we're going to install it ourselves. I installed my brother's. So or, or I helped him install the hardware on the roof part. He did the hooking up of the, the electronics. So I don't know exactly everything in detail. We're going to figure it out as we go in this video. So maybe some of you that don't normally follow this channel, you, you get a little bit of an idea. Can an average person put this up, which is kind of the type of videos I do. Everything is not expert advice. It's, hey, can the average person figure this out and what's there? And I'll tell you the truth about the matter. So starting out, you have a base. This base will mount wherever. Oh, and I don't know that I'm going to use that. Exactly what I'm going to use. Sends you a panel here that kind of tells you some basic steps. Oh. We got a Starlink sticker. We like stickers here. Um, so there's not a whole lot to this, y'all. Here's a router box in here. Um, and then uh, we have this right here mount. And it will drop into this. You can screw this down on something. And that, that is it. Now, I may actually make me a different mount for this. I'm not sure yet. Uh, so, we shall see. Power cord. And, y'all, that is all that is in here. So, installing this should be fairly simple. Okay, the main purpose that I'm making my video... It's not for the guy that's just right equipment, set it up. This is designed, y'all, to take, click in there like that, set this on your roof, and put four screws in it with a silicone or tar, or some kind of sealant to seal around the screws on a shingled roof. Okay, I have a metal house with a metal roof and there's really not anything up there but tin to screw to, and I'm pretty adamant that I don't want to make holes in my roof because I don't want leaks such as this. So this is what I'm going to kind of show you a home adapter kit. Uh, you're, you may have to tweak some things. You may come up with some better ideas than I have. 
But for the people that may not really think outside the box, this video is to help you, okay? So this thing right here, it locks in here. Now it even locked, you see it has a little bit of play in that. So this is not like a solid locked in, dead tight type deal, okay? So here's what I'm doing. We're gonna discard this, we're not gonna use it at all. What I have right here is this is off of an old satellite dish. Now you old hands is gonna have two or three of these laying around because you gonna swap satellite companies two or three times. This one happens to be one I had in a resource pile, I call it, from Dish many, many years ago. We got frustrated with them and fired them. So, what I did is this is the end of your cable that comes mounted up into the, the, the receiver here. It has a rubber deal, keep that cap on there. Feed it through this tube. Now, I had to remove this bolt and nut out of it with a 7 16 wrench ratchet and socket and i fed it all the way through and out the bottom so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to feed all of this cable through here i'll re-roll it up here in a second Now I have, y'all, I just got this. I have already put a lot of thought, okay? So when you go in, you see this right here, it's supposed to stop right there. That is very loose. So I'm gonna go on up. In fact, I'm gonna allow this to go till it kind of bottoms out, which will be on this cord, but you see it has a groove, so it will be okay. It is not like this is sitting there cutting onto the edge of your cord, okay? So, I do want to check, I'm almost positive. I'm gonna check something right quick off camera probably. So this just kind of slides in there and plugs up. I wanted to put a screw through here. Once I slid this down, I'm gonna mount this like this onto the side of my house, onto the eave under the overdrip of the tin so to keep this from twisting in there i really wanted to put a screw in there okay i don't want to tell you how just know that i know i have i know what's up in here there's a wire that comes center to this piece that's here and there's a piece about this long in there that has plastic has fins it is tapered to a point up here and it is dead center of this pipe so i don't want to put a screw straight in the back but up here i can put a screw like right here on either side at a 45 provided it is a short screw you do not want something that's going to reach all the way across your tubing because you will puncture your wire so i i have some special screws in here um, now this is because I fabricated different times and I have mounted stuff. I, I, you just learn to save stuff, okay? Let's, let's just put it that way. <laughs> so, that being said, we're going to hook this back up. this back down and then I want to put some marks on this pipe so that I know where I tell you what I'm gonna shove this as far as it goes to right there and put a mark where it stops and then I'm gonna slide this back down So I am going to be, with this, an inch and three quarters up. So from the top of my pipe, I can come down an inch and put a screw, okay? So 
So that is where my little short a pop rivet would probably be even better, but here's the problem with pop rivet. If you drill with a drill bit of there and you slip once you go through and you puncture your wire, you have a major problem. Uh, because this wire that's in here is permanent. You're not going you're not going to pull the inside out and you're not going to get in there and repair anything. You've you've damaged six hundred dollars. That's all I can tell you. So, you know, you need to really be diligent if you do this. I am not recommending, let's go on record and say, I'm not recommending you do this. This is for your entertainment pleasure to see how I am modifying my Starlink to mount it on the eve of my house. Covered, okay? You don't go do this. I said it. All right. Okay, off camera, I have drilled my hole and I have stopped with this screw sticking out about, I don't know, quarter of an inch, something like that, I would say. Yeah, it's sticking out the, the flat part about a quarter of an inch. So here's where I'm gonna do something different. So I basically all I did was thread the two holes that this self-drilling screw drilled. Now this is a 5 sixteenths head. The, uh, and from the shoulder, down there is three quarters of an inch of thread and drill bit. So here's what I, I want to do. I'm going to cut a lot of this off. Okay. And I'm hoping some of you can understand what I'm doing. And the reason is, is I don't want that in there poking a hole in my wire. All of this is to do is not to hold everything together. It is to pin this so that the wind blowing it don't swivel up there. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut it off. But I'm trying to not, I don't want it to go flying somewhere as a main thing. There, that'll stop that. There, all right. I just knew if I just popped it to this part right here would go sailing off somewhere. So now it is short enough to go through here and not puncture my wire. Okay, now I am not trying to tighten no whole bunch of stuff up. <sighs> now, we're gonna put self-drilling screws in here into an eave strut. It's a metal piece on the outside end of my truss. A lot of you are gonna have wood eave struts on your house under the, this is where the tin comes down and then there's a flat facial board. And, under, and that facial board, you need to use a long screw because they will be like a two by or two by four or two by six behind it. And it will have a masonite thin one by up there. So you need a screw that goes in there to that long part of that screw. And I would suggest for those of you mounting this to wood, to use this as some type of a lag bolt or these screws like this that are fairly long. So what I'm going to use, this is a 5 sixteenths headed metal to metal screw. Uh, I don't know what the shaft size is, but a 5 sixteenths bit is what fits that. And it's a self drilling screw. So I'm going to put these in my pocket. We're going to take this over there and we're going to mount this. just like this to the side of the house. And then when you plug this up, this will turn level and it will search for that satellite. You wanna make sure when you mount this that there's no obstructions, trees, any such as this. And I had this, y'all. I did not lay that on nothing hard. I had a piece of leather under that, so. Let's go get this thing mounted, y'all. I've rattled on and talked about it long enough. And look, for those of you that want to frown on my redneck way of doing this. You just remember, it's only stupid if it don't work. If it works, it's genius. Hang with me.
Okay, y'all, right here is just as simple as pulling your power wire, plugging it up, and plugging the wire from the, the dish outside into the bottom of that. And now we're gonna see about getting some signal. Okay, while I was in there filming that, you see that thing tilted itself flat? It is now searching for signal. When I mounted it, you know, it was tilted down this way. It tilted itself up flat. It is looking straight up at this point. Okay, mount, plug up, hook to power. Now we're fixing to scan this code and it's gonna download a Starlink app. I doubt I'm gonna film all this y'all because I'm filming on my iPhone and I'm fixing to use it to do that. So I will go over it when we get through. All right, y'all, we got this hooked up. It was just a matter, turn that down. It's just a matter of entering a code that is on my, my shipping kit here. But honestly, I believe when I hooked it up and it powered up and it automatically connected because I had done, went in my account before it ever got here and made sure everything was squared away there, so very simple it comes up as an unsecured network so i'm gonna probably go in and put in a passcode into it i'm not a hundred percent how to do all of that but my daughter knows more about it than i do <laughs> i can figure it out i'm very positive so very simple to hook up and run it i run a test y'all i've got like a almost a 30 download speed and like a nine point something upload speed which is like 10 times more than what I have been having it. I had like a one point something upload speed. Here lately, it has been 0.2 or 0.3. I mean, like extremely not working. So hopefully now you guys videos will start coming rapidly. We also want to bring back live, which I am going to name live from Mississippi and do the lives. Thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors, unboxing the Starlink and hooking it up. We'll see you next time. Remember, the best way to do things is the, the way, way you like, like to do it. it. We'll see y'all. Tell them bye, Brody. Bye. We got internet now. What you gonna go in there and watch? What? I don't know what you wanna watch on TV now. What's your favorite show? The Crimson Pirate. The Crimson Pirate. We'll have to see if we find the Crimson Pirate. What you been watching lately? He's been watching the Northwest Passage. Got the little green men in there. They wear green buckskins. <laughs>